This video was made possible by your awesome supporters on Patreon. Welcome to our new patrons this week, Russell Breckenridge and John Martin. How is he? Oh, you know, same old Ethan. If you're in need of an adrenaline rush, look no further. Mission Impossible Fallout can be your quick fix. So we're six movies into this franchise and there seems to be no signs of it running out of gas anytime soon. Mission Impossible is the rare franchise that seems to get better with age. A very big part of it, if not the biggest, is Tom Cruise who is, without a doubt, the biggest action movie star working today. Have fun. We heard on the radio, I think we just lost Tom. Always. The amount of effort he puts into his movies is outstanding. He performs a lot of the stunts himself and they just seem to get bigger and better each and every time. In Ghost Protocol, he scaled the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. In Rogue Nation, he hanged from a cargo plane as it took off. In this movie, he drives a motorcycle against traffic at high speeds without a helmet and flies a helicopter like 4 inches away from crashing into rocks. He even broke his foot on this one scene where he jumps from one building into another without any cables by the way. He's also the first actor to ever do a halo jump, which is a high altitude low opening jump where the cinematographer shot him with a camera on his helmet as they were falling. It's insane. If risking your own life for the sake of entertainment isn't being devoted to your job, I don't know what is. The man is 56 years old and he's doing the craziest stunts of his career now. Tom Cruise, you have our respect. It's also the first real direct sequel in the Mission Impossible franchise since it was directed by Christopher McQuarrie who also directed the last movie. As well as being the first in the franchise where you kind of have to watch the last movie to fully understand what happens here. Besides the amazing stunt work, the movie's narrative has many twists and turns to surprise even the most cynical of viewers. The idea behind Mission Impossible Fallout is nothing we haven't seen before though. Basically, it's about spies trying to stop a terrorist nuclear attack. The end you always feared is coming. But the film is so intense, the pacing is relentless, and there are just so many Bingo! Yahtzee! moments that the amazing set pieces and trying to figure out what angle certain characters may have on a given situation are really what drive the film. The blood will be on your hands. Much like Brian De Palma's Mission Impossible film, every little detail counts towards understanding what the hell is going on. The choreography of the fight scenes is also fantastic. There's no shaky cam nonsense here and every punch can be felt because of the great sound design and efficient direction. It's also the first film in the franchise that reveals quite a bit about Ethan Hunt's character. And with this comes an interesting philosophical debate that's revealed from the very first scene of the movie. Ethan's biggest weakness is his compassion for other people. But is it also his greatest strength? The performances are solid overall. Henry Cavill was great and brought something new to the table. Ving Rhames is always a pleasure to see in these movies. Just pretty good performances all around. But the film really shines because of the amazing set pieces, Tom Cruise's devotion to the film, and the stunt work. It all feels incredibly real, because it is. Where other movies would use CGI or doubles with the CGI head, this movie goes all out with the stunt work, and if you don't feel thrilled by any of these sequences, I really don't know what's wrong with you. Mission Impossible Fallout is the best movie of the year so far. It's the best action film since Mad Max Fury Road, and it's a must watch. If you can, definitely check it out on IMAX, it's totally worth it. This is the kind of movie that raises hopes for summer blockbusters and sequels in general. So comment below guys, what did you think of Mission Impossible Fallout and let us know if it's your favorite movie in the franchise. We want to give a very big shout out to our supporters on Patreon, you guys make this channel possible and we really can't thank you enough. Also really big thanks to Ross Budgen for making such awesome music that we have been using in our videos for a while now.
If you want us to continue to make these videos for a long time, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The link will be in the description box below. You'll have access to many cool stuff like producer credits, voting for videos, and more. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.